it's Deli here and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing, surprise, surprise, another tiny build. I know, I bet you didn't see that one coming. All right, so here I have made an elder sim, Ronnie Schmidt, because one of you guys mentioned that the elders don't get enough attention. So good old Ronnie here, he's decided to build a beautiful tiny home. But we're gonna make it a little bit more interesting. I've been asking you guys on Twitter and Instagram and here on YouTube what tiny home we should make next. And a lot of you guys were asking for a sustainable tiny home, but one of you guys also asked that we make two tiny homes joined with a little bridge. And I just thought that was a really cute idea. So let's try and make like two tiny homes on a hill and join them in the middle. I'm just gonna use this. I know it's gonna look a little odd at the moment. And I'm gonna flatten this out just a tad. If I just put this along here to kind of become the bridge. Okay, so yeah, that, that's gonna be flat. Oh no but we don't want to have a foundation. Okay, so if we build uh, a level underneath, then that'll get rid of the foundation so we can actually have the bridge in the middle. We're kind of building this backwards, uh, creating the bridge first, just to make sure that that'll work because you guys know I'm not the most technical builder, but you know, we try, we try our best. Okay, so there, there we go. It kind of looks like it's resting on here. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more surface because you can always make it smaller later on. And I'm thinking if we make two micro homes, then technically it's gonna create a tiny build because micro homes are what? 32 tiles? Oh, wow. Okay, so it's already 43 tiles just with the bridge. It might end up being a small home in total, but we'll try and keep them as small as possible. Yeah, we'll just see how we go. I mean, I guess this is a challenge because you're trying to make two in one. The other thing is we also need to make staircases to get up to the tiny home. So I'm wondering if we should do it like into the middle of the bridge. That could be quite cute. And then it kind of goes off in either direction. I feel like it's going to be more impressive and more of a challenge if we make sure it fits into at least a small home. Oh, how cute is this? No, I deleted the hills. Oh, and I completely missed that. Oh, this is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Maybe this is a better way of doing it, actually, where you build the hills afterwards. Actually, yeah, I think this is a much better way of doing it. We can just like smooth it out a little bit. I really hope that we get worlds where using the terrain tool makes a little bit more sense, because usually you're using them in on clearly flat lots and flat surrounding areas. So it kind of looks a little odd when you've suddenly got a hill. I'm a little bit sus about these staircases. I kind of want them to look a little bit rickety and a little bit mismatched. I know it's gonna drive some of you guys nuts that they don't match. Oh my gosh, look, it like goes to a hidey spot underneath. Oh, <gasps> actually that's a really cute idea. Uh, all of a sudden I really want the planet zoo controls to do this. Cause then you could just kind of push through the the terrain tube. Oh my God, what am I doing? Help. Here we go. Oh no, I kind of ruined it. Okay, we can do this. It's like a little maze. Oh, a maze, a labyrinth tiny home would be cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure the Sim can actually get up here. I think he can. Yay! So you do kind of go underneath here, but I think that looks really, really cool. Okay, and now I'm just gonna make the tiny builds look nice and legit. So I'm thinking that we go with kind of sustainable looking slash forest looking build. Uh-oh, hello. This is a problem right here. Hmm, I think our best option is to just delete this floor here. So it sits out a little bit, but that's still okay. We'll get this for this side. Beautiful. Oh, we could even do like a, like a lake underneath. We'll just make it all jagged and oddly shaped. I mean, I don't know what this is gonna do to the terrain. I feel like this is not gonna work, but we'll we'll give it a go and see. Oh, it did work. Okay. And we'll blend it all together in a little while. But for now, just a weirdly shaped pool is the look we're going for. And then I wanna give it some murky colored water to make it look more natural. Nice. Get this dirt wallpaper. Flooring, I'm thinking we go with this jungle adventure dark timber because it looks, I don't know, super rustic. So these might be a little tricky to place. Oh, it'd be cool to make like a mine shaft. Minecraft meets The Sims 4. Did you guys watch that video? Maybe we'll put a pillar here. And should we put it on the other side of the bridge too? Probably, just to make it look like, it, you know, it can stand up. This is cute. 
And then we haven't even got to the point of actually building inside the houses. So let's just hope it's gonna work out okay. <laughs> okay, these are the most basic little boxes. But you know what? I think I think this is gonna work. And you never know, you guys might wanna download these and make you know, an elderly couple that lives in one and over the other side they have art studio or something like that or maybe like best friends who live in separate houses or maybe you could have an evil sim who like locks other sims into the other house that'd be pretty sick all right so here are our two little homes i definitely want to do a little bit of landscaping uh maybe before we start actually building in the homes you could probably place this in granite falls and make it into good old camping spot a really good way of covering up uh ponds or making it look more natural is putting a lot of rocks around the place with the move objects on sheet also helps to have a little bit more money so i hold both the shift and alt keys down just shift means that i can place more than one down in a row and then the alt key means i can rotate them any axis we can also size them up using the bracket keys so you can get more of that like big boulder look that is a nice boulder i like that boulder now i feel like watching shrek there's that song where they sing about the town it's like do the kids do the kids do the kids the perfect place <laughs> That was actually such a good film until they made like seven sequels. That's pretty. I want to I wanna live here. Maybe we should get two mailboxes as well. I actually really, at this stage, I should know what happens when there's two mailboxes on a lot. I'm pretty sure if you have two letterboxes, the postie just uses one. I don't think you can use both, but maybe you can. I'm going to put two mailboxes. I mean, good luck to the postie trying to find this one. It's a little bit hidden. Oh. And we have to terrain paint and the terrain paint's gonna look so good. I have cute little flowers on it. I love terrain painting. Terrain painting's like the same thing as the same feeling of satisfaction as like eating a really good cookie or something. It's just like, mmm, that feels good. Actually, I should probably fade this a lot. Oh, it's beautiful. My hands smell so weird today. Do you ever do get that thing where you just smell your hands and you're just like, why do they smell so weird? I started doing it when my sister started doing it around me and now I do it all the time. It's like a weird habit we both have now. So you'll see us and we're both like... <laughs> I mean, not really, but it's kind of, kind of semi-true. Okay, we have two micro builds. I don't even know how big these are. These are probably less than micro. One, two, three, four. 24 by 24. Hmm. So we can actually extend them. We could put a little staircase in. Oh, this is really hard. Let's just say one of these was two story, okay? Actually, I want to keep this roof. Let's just put the, where can I put this roof? Uh, I'll just put it over here for now. Let's say one of them was two story just to make it look a little cute. Oh, we can definitely make this one two story. It's not a problem anymore. I swear Troom Troom videos are the creepiest thing you will ever watch. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in YouTube, search for Troom Troom. Weird. Staircase in here. Why did we move this back again? Oh yeah, because of this. Because that was a bit weird. It's okay, it doesn't have to be exactly 100 tiles. Although I know some of you guys are going to lose it if it's not. Okay, so here we have basically the exterior done. So there's like some green vines on one of them. The houses are looking a little bit different, so I'm going to try and make it so there are separate sims living in each. Maybe they have to have a communal kitchen or something like that if we can't fit one in, but I will try my very best. Okay, so let's get the essentials in first. Uh, let's see, let's maybe get a bed in here. I think we'll just do a single bed upstairs. And then down here, we've somehow got to have a toilet and kitchen. <laughs> um, okay. A little tricky, but we can make it work. I know a lot of you guys dislike the, the toilet bathroom, like one tile by one tile, one by two tiles, whatever it is. But you know, times like these, it's not such a bad idea, right? Could probably do it here. Can a sim route around this? Or is this gonna, we might need to straighten it up. Let's just see. Just see if he can get up here. Oh my gosh, he can. Wow. Okay, this is good. This is great news. This is gonna work. Because then we can put our little bathroom in here. Make it really nice looking. Get some moldy looking tiles. That's what we want. 
Ripley is gonna be able to use this door. And this is this is the part where we make make the little bathroom. So we size down this little sink. Pop it in like that. And I guess we could probably actually just have the shower here. And he can probably still use it, I think. Let's see. Will he use the shower? Yeah, he can use the shower. He can use the toilet, and he should be able to use the basin. I mean, that's okay. It all works well. You know, when you're living in a tiny home, you make do. I think next to the bed, we can probably just add in a closet instead of a bedside table. Can we just size down this cats and dogs one? Because I really, really like this. Will he still be able to use it? Or is he like, no, I can't use that. Oh my gosh, he can use that. Beautiful. Can you get into bed? Yay! Oh my gosh, it's working, you guys. I'm so stoked that you can just size this down. I kind of like the red, to be honest, even though it completely clashes with the rest of the room. Maybe we'll go the soft green. You know, they, they say you should have soft colors in the bedroom to help you relax. Oh wait, that's not gonna sit on top of there because we sized it down. Oopsies. Put a mirror there, beautiful. I know this seems kind of odd, but maybe they need some tools and they have it above their bed. So if a vampire comes, they can just like smash them in the face and be like, get away from me, you know? Safety, guys. And we can put some clothes over here, put a hat rack over here. I love this one with the red colorway. I'm just really into the color red at the moment. I don't know why. And I don't know what this bush is, but I feel like it's his friend. And I know a lot of you guys have plants that you feel like are friends, and they are friends. And it, it is a really nice thing. Okay, now I was just gonna try to add a little kitchen area. So, okay, let's just try and, I don't know how it's gonna work, but we'll just try our best. I've been using these counters, I swear, nonstop, but I've just, there's just been a renaissance of this vault modular counter. I just can't stop. I think this window should be here. I know there's vines covering it, but it still looks cool. I'm gonna replace the front door with just a singular one. And the reason why I'm doing that is because we'll be able to add more kitchen space in here. So we can probably put the stove here. Stove, and then we just need a sink. Which we can put over here. Probably add little table here. The bin needs to go here because I know you guys will get really upset if I don't have a bin. Well, actually, if we put book decor in, then we'll be able to have essentially a bookshelf without having a bookshelf. We can just put this tiny living book thing here and they'll be able to use that as a bookshelf. Now out here, we can have lots of fun stuff, you guys. We can have an easel, hippie-esque kind of chair over here to lounge on. Actually, no, we'll put it over here so we can fit more in. Love these sheer curtains, but... Oh yeah, that'll work actually, size down. I was about to say it won't fit in, but I think it will actually look quite cute. Okay, I think this is, this is looking nice. There's not really a lounge room inside per se, but... There is the lounge area outside and a few activity building things. And then we've got the little bathroom and bedroom up here. So that's one tiny house down, done. And then this one might be a little bit more difficult, but at least they can just go over to the, un the other tiny house and use stuff over there. We could tell a story that the old man built this house for his, the woman he's in love with. So he built him and her a tiny home because she doesn't want to live with him. So he thought, well, she can live in her own house and he'll build it for her next door to him. Aww. Now I want to play out that storyline. It's so cute. And then she dies because he murders her. Comment down below if you want to see that LP. Because I really feel like we haven't killed many Sims recently. And I don't know if that's because we're just in a healthier, better place on this channel or if something's wrong. Okay, let's make this like all purple. He wants it to be so nice for her. And maybe she won't have a kitchen because he'll be like, I want to cook for you every night. Wish we had like a little fireplace that took up only one tile. Really rustic looking. And he built her a beautiful bathtub. Actually, no, bathtubs don't fit in tiny homes. <laughs> so uh, she gets a beautiful shower. I'm pretty sure that she or any Sim can just use all of these in this bathroom. So you can shower, can you use the basin, okay. Yeah, that's easy. We've got their little reading chairs here. We'll need some kind of book stuff. Maybe we'll put the bookshelf next to the bed. I actually think we can probably fit in some kind of like mini kitchen in here. I'm gonna kind of pop this in. Oh no, where's the mini bar fridge gonna go? <laughs> We're running out of room. 
I guess it can go here. Or we could just have bar fridge microwave, just like that. So it's like a little bit of a mini kitchen. There we go. Isn't that cute? Cute little, little home. And then on the balcony here, I guess we can just have a couple more skill building items. She can have a little purple ladybug as the outdoor lighting over on her house. Maybe a bird feeder, because they seem like nature goers. All right, so there we go. There's the finished twin tiny home with, uh, with the bridge. Let's have a look. So little Ronnie Schmidt, what do you think of your new beautiful tiny home for you and your one true love? I'm sure he's going to love it. So let's go into his tiny home up this rickety staircase, which he might have built all by himself. Let's go around here through the front door and you walk in and there's this little kitchen area. Very nice eating area for one, perhaps at this stage. And then we go up the stairs, we have the bathroom in here. Very nice and compact. And his bed right here you can go across this bridge over to the other tiny house, the purple themed one. Very nice. A couple of sitting areas, little kitchen snack area in case you need a little snacky. Nice bed, bookshelf and uh, a bigger bathroom. Oh, it looks like he really likes that bathroom in this mirror. It's like, I'm looking good today. So there you go. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video and what kind of tiny home you would like to see next or if you're over the tiny homes and you would like to see some other normal builds or gameplay, just let me know in the comments down below. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon. Dak, dak.